After the last video, I think we could all do with something short and simple. The texture base is what I call the mods that texture large portions of the game and are installed before other textures to set the visual standard. These mods texture a large variety of objects and can't fit into any one video category. Today's categories are Sharpen Filter Mods like these generally use an editing program's filters to remove blurriness by increasing the contrast of vanilla textures. I generally don't use mods like these due to noticeable FPS drop for no real quality gain. However, many of the hall textures do look nicer than the vanilla game. They cause little to no FPS hit, and many of them will be overwritten as the series goes on. The Misc Base Mods in this category texture odds and ends throughout the world. Much better than the sharp and filtered category, but not as pleasant as our high-end game base. The DLC Base Mods in this category are the high-end foundation of DLC texturing. However, while Fallout 3 has a couple of nice packs for Mothership Zeta, there is a lack of legit mods for the other DLC. A mod author, with more talent than I have run on sentences, was in the process of texturing the DLC, but was turned off to the task when his progress was taken and uploaded elsewhere without permission or even proper credit. So here's what we are going to do. Throughout the series, we will be installing smaller mods that cover some of the DLC textures. After we install the majority of those mods, I will take notes of places that need a facelift and seek out proper substitutions. What I mean by that is, we will be substituting textures from mods that may have nothing to do with the locations at hand, or perhaps even the game itself, and port them in for personal use to make the best of what the modding community has to offer. The DC base are the high-end textures that cover most of the capital wasteland. I've tested many individual files in the following mods and had some interesting findings. I know, it feels a little backwards to install DC textures after the DLC, but you will see why we are doing things this way shortly. Ready? Let's get this video rolling. The first set of textures are to remove a bit of the blurriness from the vanilla game and allow all other mods to overwrite them. The Hall of Equipment is a simple mod that removes the blurriness of most armor and clothing textures by bumping up the contrast. It does a great job at applying whichever technique was used and is a perfect foundation for other textures to overwrite where available. Navigate to the official Hall of Equipment page. Open files, download the main file, install a mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. The Hall of Weapons is a simple mod that removes the blurriness of many weapons by bumping up the contrast. It does a great job at applying whichever technique was used and is a perfect foundation for other textures to overwrite where available. Navigate to the official Hall of Weapons page, open files, download the main file, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. The second set of textures not only remove blurriness, but also add diversity and quality beyond what the filtered mods can provide. Fallout 3 Retextured is a mod with a combination of free-to-use and scratch-made textures. In my opinion, they are much nicer than the hall mods and cover many different areas of the game. However, after comparing roughly 20 items from F3R to NMC, it was obvious who the winner in my personal load order was. That is why we are installing the miscellaneous base here. Navigate to the official Fallout 3 Retextured page, open files, download the main file, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. The DLC base is the first round of what I consider to be high-end textures for the DLC. They set the standard for those that both accompany and overwrite them later on. Mothership Zeta DLC Retextured was created by a mod author that needs no introduction in the realm of Fallout. From walls to weapons and aliens to clipboards, this is a great set of textures for Zeta. Navigate to the official Mothership Zeta DLC Retextured page, open files, download the main file, install the mod as normal. At the BAME pop-up window, select yes, Activate the top two checkboxes, select OK, then activate it in the left pane. This is a high detailed, off the grid mod for Zeta that both retextures some of the objects in the previous mod as well as many others that weren't. The most impressive retextures, for me, are the ones created from many of the miscellaneous objects around the ship. In the video description, select the Mothership Zeta retexture link. At the top right of the screen, select download. This download took roughly 5 minutes for me. It's not due to the size of the mod, but rather to the speed of the site itself. It may be worth stepping away from the PC for a few minutes to let it do its thing. 
In Mod Organizer, select the Manual Install option at the top left. Navigate to your default download location. Double-click the Mothership Zeta archive. At the Install Mods window, right-click Mothership Zeta, select Set Data Directory. Whether you choose the Ultra or Normal option is up to you. I'm going to choose the Ultra option, so right-click it, select Set Data Directory. Select OK. Once installed, activate the mod in the left pane. The DC base is the first round of what I consider to be high-end textures for the Capital Wasteland. They set the standard for those that both accompany and overwrite them down the road. Ojo Bueno is a well-known New Vegas mod that works perfectly for Fallout 3. A lot of the major textures are too noisy for my personal taste, but many of the miscellaneous replacements are exactly what I am looking for. Navigate to the official Ojo Bueno texture pack on New Vegas Nexus. Open files. Download the High Texture Pack, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. Double-click the mod, open the optional ESPs tab, highlight the Nuka-Cola ESP, select the up arrow, select Close. NMC has set and retained the baseline for quality Fallout textures since its release. It covers nearly all of the wasteland. Performance packs are provided to offset FPS drops, but quality loss is apparent to those who are really looking. When making your choice as to whether you should download what I do, or if you should choose a lower end option, keep in mind that there will be a performance patch created specifically for this series at the end of it. You can swap textures in and out at any point to test performance. Navigate to the official NMC's texture pack for FO3 page. Open files. Download the large pack single file for NMM archive. Keep the page open in the background. Install the mod as normal. However, I renamed the mod here to make the next step a little more simple. Once installed, activate it in the left pane. Back on the mod page, within the update files, download the large patch. During installation, name the file to match the first one exactly. Right-click the data option with the checkbox, select Set Data Directory, select OK, select Merge. Look to the left pane in Mod Organizer and right-click the mod. Select Open in Explorer. Here we are going to delete a few files that I prefer to have Ojo Bueno replace. Open Textures, Clutter, Junk, and delete the following files. Firehosereal.dds, Firehosereal underscore emdds, and Firehosereal underscore ndds. Arrow back one step in the file tree and delete the following files. Generic safe 01.dds, generic safe 01 underscore g.dds, and generic safe 01 underscore ndds. When finished, close Explorer. This may sound like an odd addition, but I am ecstatic to have tested it out. While many of the textures between the FO3 and FNV packs are the same, there are plenty that are different. Also, the resolution of some textures, even though they are the exact same image and file size, are slightly more defined. The writing on tires, the edges on junk walls and flooring are all more pronounced in this pack opposed to the FO3 one. NMC was even kind enough to provide us with a washed out version of his textures to remove the FNV desert color palette to better fit the DC wasteland. There is still nearly 200 textures that the FO3 pack provides that the FNV one doesn't, so you still want to install both. Now, during the video's introduction, I told you that I would explain why the DC assets are installed after the DLC. This is why. NMC created a decent amount of Fallout 3 DLC assets that only come packed with his FNV mod. They were going to be used in both games, but interest in porting them back was lost when someone began uploading his textures without his permission to other sites. Luckily, we can still utilize what he has done in FO3 by installing the FNV pack. Navigate to the official NMC's texture pack for FNV page. Open files. Download the Large Pack Part 1 of 3 for NMM Archive. Keep the page open in the background. Install the mod as normal. However, I renamed the mod here to make the next step a little more simple. Once installed, activate it in the left pane. Back on the mod page, download the Large Pack Part 2 Archive. During installation, name the file to match the first one exactly. Select OK. Select Merge. Back on the mod page again, download the Large Pack Part 3 Archive. During installation, name the file to match the previous ones exactly. Select OK, select Merge, and back on the mod page. Within the Update Files, download the Large Patch. During installation, name the file to match the previous ones exactly. Right-click the Data option with the checkbox, select Set Data Directory, 
Select OK, select Merge. And one final time, back on the mod page, within the optional files, download the washed out wasteland large and medium archive. During installation, name the file to match the previous ones exactly. Select OK, select Merge. Now, in Mod Organizer, look to the left pane and right click the mod. Select Open in Explorer. Here we are going to delete a few files. Open Textures. Delete the entire interface folder. Locate and open the Architecture folder and then the Paradise Falls folder. Delete the following files. Paradise Falls Edge Trim 01.dds and Paradise Falls Edge Trim 01 underscore n.dds. Arrow back two steps in the file tree. Open the Clutter folder. Delete the following files. Generic Safe 01.dds. Open the Junk folder and delete the following files. Firehose Real .dds, Firehose Real underscore em .dds, and Firehose Real underscore n .dds. Arrow back two steps in the file tree. Open the Landscape folder, delete the entire LOD folder. When finished, close Explorer. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, modding Fallout 3, My Way, Texture Base Part 7. There are hundreds of texture mods coming down the road, so don't think that this is it. I just felt that we could use a nice short video at this point in the series, and something to give the rest of our testing a nice facelift. I don't know what the next video holds yet, but it will be nothing less tested or thought out than all of the rest. A big thank you to NMC for responding to a question I had, and to everyone else who has helped out along the way. As always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for supporting, and thank you for watching.